this is one of our first road trip fast blast shoots. We're actually in the San Francisco area. We have a few owners that have reached out to us knowing we were going to be here and said, hey, do you want to drive my car? One of them is Raul, who has this Cadillac CTSV wagon six speed. There's like 600 cars out there. I mean, this is really a needle in a haystack of automotive buying. I'm a wagon guy. They are versatile. I like sleepers. I like a lot of power. That defines the CTSV wagon. The basic recipe is you take the engine from the Corvette ZR1 and you shove it in the Cadillac CTS wagon body, give it a six speed, give it magnetic ride control. I mean, madness occurs. Everybody knows what the V series is and they know that they know that it's pretty hot, but if you see one of these wagons, you cannot deny that it's head turning. Regarding the Cadillac styling that has defined this brand now and defined these cars, I would say the wagon has to be up there as one of the more unique, good looking designs. This is a full size wagon. I've got tons of space in here. Great legroom. I had to bring the seat forward from all the way back. That doesn't happen to me very often. Everything's just got just a lot of room for me and whoever else you wanted to haul along. I mean, you could put three people in the back, three adults in the back, and there's still cargo space. Now this car is a couple years old. I like that it doesn't have the Q system. It's still very tight. The materials are great. And you know, there's a few creaks and rattles here and there, but nothing major and nothing unpleasant. Six point two liter supercharged engine. Almost 560 horsepower here. There's no question, there's plenty of power. But you can put a big engine in anything. It doesn't mean it's gonna feel any good to drive. The problem comes in with the fact that this is a 4,200 pound car. This car is heavy. You really can feel it. Wow, it feels like a ZL1 in wagon form. I mean, if I didn't look in the rearview mirror, if I didn't look behind me, it is so tight and buttoned down. With the magnetic ride control, which is great in anything GM puts it in, with that in this car and this power underfoot, it wipes away the fact that this car is this heavy. The thing about the magnetic ride control is that it, it firms up the car to where it feels like it's handling really well. It's really sharp. But that's on top of a steering rack that isn't like a Cayman or an FRS or an S2000. It's deceptive because it's gotten far more aggressive and flat than the look of this car would suggest. You just don't understand what this car is like until you drive it. You can make your passengers sick. It's that good. It's so quick through the corners. And of course, the great mountain of power sitting up front. While this car will do zero to 60 in four seconds and the owner does take it to the drag strip, in spite of that, I mean, here I am, this is a tight road. It's actually kind of a tight and bumpy road. Bad combination for a big wagon. And yet, it's got the light on its feet kind of driving that I like about many small cars. It just doesn't seem like it would. So it's a confusing car. And I can understand why they didn't sell a lot of them, but you know what? This car isn't intended for everybody. This CTSV wagon is the family hauler, and I mean pun intended there. It can put your entire family and all their stuff in it. We could have had all our gear for the shoot in this car. And then here I am on this back road. I'm not holding back. I'm not apologizing. I'm just chucking this car in. I would drive this car, I would take it. And you know what? I'd be really happy because it does combine, like it feels like Corvette and ZL1 and everything that's hot about the GM race program packed into a eh, medium sized wagon. People are not expecting this. You look at it and you think it's a wagon, not just a wagon. Bravo to Raul for finding one. And huge thank you, man, for letting us drive it. I, I have to be honest, I'm 
I expected this to be good. I really did. It has still surprised me as being better than I hoped. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we don't want you to miss any video coming out. We've got new videos every Thursday.